Hey there guys, welcome back to another video from Larry NHL. I wanted to discuss a little something being I'm from I'm here from Minnesota. You know, the Minnesota Wild had a good good victory tonight. But uh, I would like to talk about their predecessors. They were here from 1967 to 1993. They were the Minnesota North Stars. They went to two Stanley Cup finals in 1981 and 1991. Unfortunately, they lost them both. But uh, they gave they gave a, you know they had a really really good run. And if not for an owner that basically was just a, a jerk who just he didn't like it here he bought he bought the team like in like 1988 or 89 and by unfortunately 1993 they were they were gone and I know a lot of people in Minnesota were definitely not happy fortunately we got we got our team back it took seven years but we got them back so I would like to show you guys the I don't I don't have the I don't have the jersey that just says stars across it that they went to the year after they went to the Stanley Cup Finals that's when I think a lot of people realize, okay, these guys are probably on their way out of town. Because why else would you change the logo to just have it say stars across the jersey? It kind of, it, it had people thinking, wait, why, why is he changing the, why is he changing the logo? Because the logo was such a pretty logo. So I figured I would show you guys the four other area, eras of the Minnesota North Stars. First we have this beauty. This was the one, their very first jersey from their expansion year in 1967. Lou Nanny, you know, North Star great Lou Nanny wore this jersey. Um, I think, uh, I think, you know, a a few a few other other names are escaping me at the moment, but you know it was a pretty pretty you know pretty basic design. You know, I mean the green is the green's phenomenal. I love I love the green. You know, and it just had the the single white stripe on the on the on the sleeve and on the bottom. And you know, this is another beauty you know that I loved about CCM. You know, CCM came out with the vintage line, and if I can get the tag here you know there's the there's the the ccm vintage hockey tag and this one i remember i had bought this i had gotten this from sportsk.com back when the vintage line was still being produced by ccm i was very fortunate to get it and it's just it's a it's it's really it's nice it's clean you know there there was there wasn't a whole lot to it I mean, because it was 1967, you know, I mean, you didn't really need a whole lot to it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's nice, you know, I mean, you got the end there, you know, for the North, the North Stars, and they had this jersey from 19, from 67 till probably, I would say about the mid seventies, and then they changed to this one, another one I really like, and then they went to this style, which is which I really like again. Now, mind you, I don't have many white. I, I don't have. I have. I have one north. One white North Stars jersey, and I'm I'm not crazy about white because the minute you wear them, they're they just they get dirty so easily, and that's why I try to avoid the now what are called what are the road jerseys. Back when they wore the ones with the colors, they were they were road. They were. Uh, road jerseys you know now the dark ones are the home jerseys but this one they had this came out i believe in 1975 which was still a couple years before i was even born and 
you know, again, the logo is, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's yellow, it's, it's white and yellow, and it's got the, and this one has, it's got the double stripe, the double stripe, which is very, which again is very cool. I remember when they, when this came out, I didn't even, I had totally forgotten that this was even a jersey they had. So, and, and I love the, and I love the color up in the, up in the, up in the collar here. It's, it's really, really nice. You got the green and the white mixed in with the yellow. It's just, it's a, it's a beautiful jersey. But then in the mid 80s, they changed, they changed it up again. And they came with this. This one came in, I believe it was 80, 1986, 87, somewhere in there. I believe this was the jersey that Mike Madonna, I think Madonna wore this, wore this one when he was drafted in 88. I think this was the style that they had. You know, and it's still, it's, it's green, it's green, white, and yellow. And, you know, they put the, they, they made the, the yellow and the white basically the same, uh, the same on the, on the sleeve. They added, they added the yellow stripe here and made the, uh, made the, made the shoulders white, which again was, was, I think really cool, you know, and on the bottom, you know, they, they got the red and white there. And it's just, it's a, it's, again, it's a really nice jersey. It's the CCM Vintage, which I still wish they made because these were phenomenal jerseys. Because the material, the material is just, is beautiful. I mean, it's the, it's that air, it's that air knit polyester. It's just, it's so nice. And it just, it, it made the, it made the jersey look, look basically authentic. So they had this one up until the early 90s. And then they came out with these. And here's my white one. And they decided they, they, decided they were going to add black, which was kind of cool. And I really, I really like, I really like the addition of the black. They put the black. I mean, they've got the yellow, the yellow, green, and white there, and they got the black on the sleeve, which which stands out really nice. And the the white one, they did the white one. They didn't do this on the home one, and that's where they added the North Star logo to the shoulder. It's the same. It's the same logo. It's kind of like how the Buffalo Sabers had their jersey back in the day, where it was the same logo on the front and on the shoulder, and. You know, and again, white, I've never been too crazy about white because they get, they can get dirty so easy, but this was a good looking, this was a good looking jersey. And again, it, it, it stands out nicely on a white, on a white background. But this one was the one, this one I absolutely love. This is the style that I think they were most known for from their 1991 run. To the Stanley Cup Finals, which there's the Stanley Cup Finals patch right there from 1991. Even though they didn't win it, I'm still very happy that I have that patch to put on. That I had that that I got that patch to put on there. And this one, of course, it just it's 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 beautiful. I mean, it's almost about as perfect as you can get. You've got the added black in there. You've got the yellow and black here uh, as the the striping there between the show between the shoulder yoke and the main the the neckline of course it's what you know it's white black and yellow it's just it's beautiful you know of course the bottom is just like on the on the on the sleeves and it just it's it stands out so nice so nice and you know call me call me crazy but if the Minnesota Wild for a reverse retro if they made a green version of the reverse retro. I mean, the reverse retro, which is a nice looking jersey, but it's white. And that's one reason why I didn't, I wasn't really, 
keen on getting it. But not just that, but it, it sold out within, I mean, the minute, the minute it hit the stores, it was gone. I mean, it was just insane how fast they sold. Which, Adidas, come on. Why would you make the reverse retros a limited run? Those things are basically a license to print money. Why would you make that a limited run? I don't know. It's just crazy. So, but this was the style they had back in 1991. And then, of course, you know, they left in 1993. When the owner at the time... He, you know, he just, he had a, he had a beef with, he had a, he had a beef. He found a loophole in the lease and he was able to move the team. The fans were not very happy about it. And it took seven years to get these guys. So, I mean, it, 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 it they, they made up for it. You know, Gary Bettman kind of made up for the fact that we lost our team. I mean, it's Minnesota. How do you not have a hockey team in what is called the state of hockey. How would you not have a team? Especially considering for like nine months out of the year, we're we're in hockey weather. I mean it's it's below it's below freezing for probably nine months out of the year. And for a good two or three months it's below zero, which is which is why this is the perfect area for hopefully with the winter classic we were supposed to have that New Year's Eve here this year. Hopefully we get that next year because again it's it's perfect weather. I mean it could be it could be it could be 40 degrees or it could be negative 20. It's just weird on how that works. But yeah, it took 7 years. These guys these guys came back and it was, you know, and these guys have now been here. This is their 20th season. And, you know, it's just it's something about living in the living in the state of hockey. It's, you know, we we love our hockey. And so those are my four Minnesota Wild, or Minnesota Wild, huh, Minnesota Wild, Minnesota North Star era jerseys. And, and like I said, if, if the, if they were to, if the Wild were to go back to these colors, I mean, granted, I think a lot of people in Minnesota would, would be like, you know, why, why are you, you know, you know, you're, you're holding on to the old North Stars. Why do that? You know, it's a new team, this, that, and the other. It's just, it's, the colors are gorgeous. These are, these are, these are awesome colors. And the Minnesota Wild logo honestly looks great in the North Star colors. And if they went to... This style, or even or the style that they have currently as the reverse retro, if they made a green version of that, again, it's a license to print money. So, you know, I hope you guys hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like this like this video, hit like you know hit like and hit like and subscribe. Don't be afraid to you know throw throw something in the comments on how you on how you like some of these jerseys. And, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, these are, these are, you know, they're just, they're just a gorgeous, a gorgeous color, a gorgeous set of, set of jerseys. And I'm so happy that I have all four eras and except for, of course, the, the one that said stars across it. I just, yeah, was not, not, not too much of a fan of that. And then, of course, when they moved down to Dallas, it was so easy. They just kept that one and just put Dallas across the top. It's when we all knew something was, something was fishy. But, uh, but, yeah. So, uh, yeah, if you guys like it, you know, don't, don't be afraid to, don't, don't be afraid to comment. Hit like and subscribe if you, if you like this video. And I will talk to you guys again soon.